I personally like really I, words because that they are uh, real junior mints. I mean, I'm glad they're real ones. We have come to find that Kit Kat, Kit Kit Kat could, hmm, are hello. Do you mind? Okay, this might be one of the best, greatest sweatshirts I have ever put onto my body in my entire life. Um, if you are familiar, if you know, if you know what is up, please, please comment and let me know. Um, but aside from that, hi, hello, welcome to today's video. I, I don't really know what to say about this other than this just feels like it's, it's going to be a good one because when I realized the brands that were taste testing today, I realized I was like, oh, there really isn't anything here that I'm super worried about being bad, but everything here I'm super psyched about trying because it's all new stuff, but it's it's all, it's Kit Kat, it's Reese's, it's M&M's, it's Junior Mints, it's Hershey Kisses. So I'm not, I'm not super worried about anything being like gross but it's all new stuff. Well, at least there's one item, there, uh, actually there's two items that I'm not 100% sure if they're new, but I've never seen them before, so I can only assume, cause I realized I was editing one of my videos that just went up, I don't know, whatever. I was editing and I mentioned in it that I was pretty sure I've been making these videos for three years now and it turns out that I was right. I hit the three year mark in October. So I do have the ability to say that like, I've never seen these before and I've been doing these videos for a hot minute now. So that was pretty cool to realize, although sad to realize that I missed it by a few months and didn't do anything to like celebrate. Of course, this is Silly's time to use his scratching pad. But with that being said, I, I think it's time to uh, jump into the new stuff. All right, let's go. Okay, so first up, these are one of the items I'm not 100% sure if they're new, but I've never seen them before, so here we are. They are mint truffle Hershey's Kisses dark chocolate filled with mint truffle. Okay, so first things first, I absolutely love the color of the actual kisses themselves. It's a super pretty shade of green, almost with like a bit of blue in it. And the smell is very strong, very strong. It's reminding me of Andy's mints. And flavor wise, it actually also reminds me of an Andy's mint. It just has a bit more of the filling in the center more of like the creamy minty filling in the center of this um but it's not overpowering it balances very nicely with the dark chocolate so if you're somebody that likes more like the andy's mint or a mint truffle as opposed to like a york peppermint patty you would probably really like these now i'm someone who likes both like i love mint and chocolate together so i find these very nice However, I think if you're somebody who is rather iffy on the whole mint and chocolate thing, you might think that these are kind of on the toothpaste-y end. I personally don't, but I could see how somebody who isn't a massive fan of mint and chocolate together would feel that way, if that makes sense. Ooh, and I just realized I finally have candy to put in my candy dish for the season. Okay, so we're going to stick on the mint path, the mint and chocolate path, and go with some junior mints that are peppermint crunch. So this is the second item. I'm not 100% sure if it's new, but I've never seen them before. I personally like really, I, words. I personally really like junior mints. So when I saw this, it was kind of one of those, oh, I've never seen that before. So I kind of have to assume they're new, guess they're new, guess maybe they used to be a thing and haven't been a thing for a while and they just brought them back obviously i don't know but we're here to try them and so it says that they are uh, real junior mints I mean, i'm glad they're real ones 
made with a real candy crunch. I want to know why the word real is so important because they're not the only company or brand who uses that in their marketing. And I'm curious if they're really like, are there studies that show that people respond better to being told the ingredients are real? I mean, I know I'm pretty sure it's one of the reasons that kind bars do so well is because you can see the product through the packaging. And that was one of their biggest selling points for a really long time was that you could see what it was. So I'm curious if that's kind of like the same thing. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I find these a bit strange looking. Like the, it looks like whatever the peppermint stuff is was mixed in with the chocolate that coats it. So it just looks a little weird. You know what? Those are really interesting. It's, it's like a regular junior mint, but with a little bit of a twist and a crunch and the peppermint flavor, you do get a slightly bit of a different flavor. It's a little, it's a little bit stronger than normal because it is essentially a crushed peppermint candy mixed in with the coating and it adds a fun little crunch to it it's not too much though it's like it's a rather subtle crunch if that makes sense and it's fun i really like these there's something about this that makes a regular junior mint slightly more christmasy if that makes sense it probably doesn't but wow that's really good. And now I'm sitting here wondering, I can't imagine that these would be bad. Like I have a feeling it would be really good if I were to make a double chocolate chip cookie dough. So you know, the kind of cookie dough that has cocoa powder mixed in. So it's like an actual chocolate cookie with chocolate chips and then mix some of these in. I think I would freeze them first so that they don't break when mixing it into the batter and then bake them. I could imagine that being super good. Should I try that? Should I do a video trying that? Should I try it on my vlog channel? Let me know in the comments, pretty please. All right, so I must be honest, the last three things in this video, I am so excited to try because all three of them look really fun and exciting. So Typically when I do these videos, I try to save what I think is going to be the best for last. I'm a very save the best for last kind of person. And in this video, I genuinely think the last three things are all going to be good. So here we are. Okay, so first up of these three are, hello, do you mind? All right, this is my child, Silly. He's in a rambunctious mood, so apologies if he ends up being a distraction of any sort. Okay, so the first of these last three items are one, it's an item that I, I don't know if I just like wasn't paying attention, but I really thought what I was bringing home was just a white chocolate M&M, and I was like, all right, we'll find out what it's like, but that's kind of boring. And then it was as I was filming the B-roll for this video, you know, this part. As I was filming that, I realized that it said white chocolate with pretzel snowballs. And um, yeah, that kind of changed the game because these now sound phenomenal. So let's try them. Okay, first off, I must say I love the colors. They're such pretty shades of blue. If you are as much of a sweet and salty lover as I am, I think you will absolutely love these. The white chocolate makes them a bit sweeter than the regular ones that have the pretzels on the inside, which is kind of the whole point. White chocolate doesn't have any cocoa powder in it, which cocoa powder adds bitterness so it's a very nice sweet and salty combination if you are a white chocolate lover you will probably love these if you like sweet and salty things you will probably love these i i would just have to say i'm excited to put these out in a bowl in my house to have to just snack on every so often and i think the these were a very very nice addition to m&m's lineup okay 
so the next is one that I am super excited for. So they are new Reese's Cups and they do come in a multitude of sizes. So I have the king size here. I know they also have um, like the miniature cups. I'm not sure what the whole range of what they have available is, but today we're gonna do the king size and these are Reese's Big Cup Peanut Brittle. Peanut Brittle flavored cream with crunchy peanut butter. I'm very excited to try these, very excited. Okay, the smell of peanut butter is just like overwhelming as soon as I opened it. It is a light colored cup. Okay, it was probably like a good four or five months ago now that I did a video that was a Reese's Smackdown or Showdown or something like that where I bought a whole range of different Reese's items and tried them and compared them. And I wish this would have been an option in that video because this is hands down, this probably would have won as my favorite item in the whole video. You get this amazing added crunch to a, Reese, a Reese's cup that I never realized I was even missing. What are you doing? He's in attack mode at the moment. Anyways, but it has, you get the delicious peanut butter, you get this really nice added crunch that I'm not a crunchy peanut butter kind of person, but in a Reese's cup, that's that might be a very different story. And then you get at the end, I'm trying to ignore him, it's not working well, stop it. And then at the end, you get like a toffee flavor that comes from the actual, it's, um, it says that it's a peanut brittle flavored cream. You get that flavoring at the end. It's almost like a nice little ending note to the flavor. Wow, the hands down, probably my favorite Reese's product to ever have hit the market. Easy. All right, so last up and obviously very not least up um, are some new Kit Kats. And if you have never watched a Kit Kat taste test on this channel where I have a video where within it I have tried a new Kit Kat, um, my, we have come to find that Kit Kat, Kit, Kit, Kat, Kit, hmm, Kit Kat just does a phenomenal job at getting flavors exactly to what they say they are. So if they say that it's going to taste like lemon cream pie, it's going to taste like lemon cream pie. If they say it is going to taste like a corn muffin, it's going to taste like a corn muffin. Now they don't have that as a flavor, but like I'm just saying. <laughs> so we have brand new from them, new Kit Kat gingerbread cookie, crisp wafers in gingerbread flavored cream, and I just can't see a world where these are going to be bad. Every Kit Kat I've ever tried has been phenomenal, but we have to still put them to the test. So let's try them. Okay, I can smell them through the packaging and I don't remember that being the case for most Kit Kats. I could be wrong, but I could smell them when I opened this and they're all individually wrapped. Ooh, that smells nice. That smells Christmassy. You know what I can't help but find funny? Is that I am not somebody who would say that I'm really a fan of gingerbread cookies. Like if you said, here's a plate of cookies, do you want some gingerbread cookies? I'd probably be like, oh, I'll have one, but that's really it. Why are these making me go, do I like gingerbread cookies? The flavor is just so nice, and I'm sure it's the sweetness from the cream, the crunch from the wafers, and the flavor from the wafers all mixed together that's making it even better. But wow, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of put these towards the end simply because, or put them at the end simply because they're Kit Kat, and I knew and I know that Kit Kat always does really phenomenally with their flavors. And so I was like, I'll put it at the end because it's uh, it's more of a crowd favorite than a my personal favorite, but it's usually how it goes. So I'm still gonna put it at the end, even though I don't necessarily think it's gonna be my favorite. It's just typically how it goes is that it's my favorite. So I'm still gonna put it at the end and just hope that it works out that way. 
And wow, now I'm to be fair, I don't want to say that this is my favorite thing that I tried in the video, but I will say that they did a phenomenal spot on job with the flavor of these. Okay, so with that being said, I love videos that are like this where it turns out that everything is good. I would recommend everything in this video. The number one favorite of all my favorites definitely ended up being the peanut brittle Reese's cup, but that is for obvious reasons that I explained in that portion of the taste test. Um, but yeah, I would love to know if you have tried any of these things and what your opinion is on them. And also if there is anything that you think that I should try in a future taste test. But with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, I would love if you would give it a thumbs up because that one supports my channel, but also lets me know that you enjoyed the video. And if you subscribe, you can stick around for the next video because I have got some fun stuff coming up for the rest of the month of December that I'm very excited about and just beyond that in general. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.